Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new Stardust tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create 3D particle eye in Adobe After Effects using Stardust. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition, I have here in my comp Stardust already applied. So jump to a mirror and change the type to ring and zero out the speed. And so we are having these ring shape. And here we have the ring particles, how many particles we want to be on that ring. So let's do some uh, changes to the particle looks. So let's give life 10 seconds and size one pixel for now. And let's create a new camera. So we can see this in 3D. So we have this ring look like this. So um, if we speed putting that to 20, the particles are just going to fly everywhere and that because there's direction here we have uniform directional bidirectional and outwards the outwards one is what we want to so the particles just flying outward and here we have the size x is the ring uh, radius here so we're making it have small or big. So if we put the speed to zero, we'd see better what's going on when we put these uh, size X when we change it. So we're going to leave it at 10 for now and the speed, we're going to leave this at 20. So we have something like this and let's have two views and let's see this from left and as you see this is flat and we know that the eye is kind of like a spherical shape so to create this we are going to add a field node here to make some um, deformation to the particles so um, by default there is uh, fill type to sphere and it's already applying some fill turbulence to these uh, particles and there's here this origin to see if we move it you would see what's going on so we are getting something there we are getting like these uh, particles deformed to the eye shape so if we see what's going on so the particles is going uh, start growing in the animating on the shape and so let's connect this to the particle and as you see we leave everything uh, as it was by default 100% to the amount of the turbulence so we're going to leave that as it is and we're going to add another field node and for this one let's turn the helper for this one and leave only this one and for this one we are going to move these to the opposite direction and as you see we are getting something totally different we want to push a little bit the top of that spherical um shape here we want to add another deformation from this side so we have something just uh like a curvy uh shape so as you see we are getting the look of the well uh the look of the the shape we are looking for so let's move this at the top and if we add a turbulence node and then connect it to field node and change the value of position offset we're going to have a very nice uh, turbulence field on these lines uh, let's back to one view And here we have a lot of turbulence type. So I'm just going to leave it to normal for now. 
we can do a lot of tweaks to this to make it look great so i'm just going to leave it as it is let's put this at a nice view here maybe right there and on the particles going to give the size 0.05 we want a thin lines here and i'm going to duplicate duplicate these three nodes control d and connect it to the emitter here and because this fill node is the same as this one so i'm just going to delete it and just use this one connect to this one disconnect this turbulence and connect to this particle and the second one to this particle because we just want to change the turbulence for each uh, particles side so we just have a different looks so for example for this one if we have more position offset you would see what i mean so the key here is just duplicating particle and turbulence and changing the turbulence uh, parameters so we have a different looks and so this particle maybe we are going to change the color to something nicer here and maybe for this one as well just for kind of like a nice looking thing so as you see things start and growing and they are all connecting to this emitter so if we crank up the emitter, emitter uh, i mean the ring particles you would see we are uh, affecting all of those uh, particles or those lines so let's add more to create more details for this so we are going to duplicate this control d connect it to emitter and add to it the field node and the same thing here going to have some variations for those so maybe this one I'm going to use sphere turbulence effect let's turn off visibility of the other ones so we focus in this one so this one here let's turn on the helpers is it the turbulence it's done here and let's change the size of the sphere make it big something around there so we are going to change the turbulence origin x y and c and see how the turbulence affects uh the the particles so we have a, a lot of things we can do so well, let's make this actually bigger and just move it down we don't want it to affect the top and let's reset this x and y here see before and after maybe we can then have more noise details to that let's turn back on the other particles maybe this one uh, we're going to change the tr transform mode to add and this one to screen So we have the base shape here. So we are going to duplicate these nodes, Control D, and let's move it right here. And we are going to use the same field and connect it to this particle here. And let's organize this. So for this one, let's turn off 
and for this one we're going to do some other tweaks so for this one we don't want the particles to fly all the way so so maybe just half of that or maybe let's put it five speed maybe we want it to stop just right there and the particles we're going to uh, change the color to color over life and choose a nice color presets here. So maybe this one. So we have something very cool right there. And we are going to, well, we're going to duplicate these nodes, connect it right here, and connect it back. There, so actually we need these inputs of this to be connected here. Okay, so for the second one, uh, we're going to change this particle, this turbulence node, going to randomize the turbulence. So we have these nice effects here. And we're going to add more particles. Maybe something just around 300. And let's put that to add. Okay, and let's see how it's look with the other particles together. So as you see, the preview look very cool. We just going to add more details to this to make it even more interesting. So uh, we are going to duplicate again this control D. So we have a new emitter in the particle. Let's connect back this here. And let's turn off all the other emitters so we focus on this one. So here we want uh, to create just like a, a portion of these particles flying all over the eye. So to do this, we are going to go to emitter and we are going to animate keyframe this size so let's there at 10 and they're going to maybe something like that and we're going to change that to once so something like this is going to happen so like a dot and on particle we're going to make the size maybe one and randomize the size. So maybe four and five. And maybe we are going to change the gradient to something else to have a different looks and Let's turn on the other ones, see how it looks with it. We are going to duplicate it uh, again, this one. We are, we are going to keep on adding more details. So connect the field is always connected to, to any particles we are duplicating. And this one is actual affect all of the particles. As you see, we are like having two different uh, look in here. So maybe you can go for this one or this one. So we're just going to keep this. And for the second one, I mean, the, 
the second duplicate here, we can have a speed maybe 10 to this. So we just need to put this to one or maybe 10. Maybe we can also change the color here. And maybe here we're going to add another duplicate. Control D for this and connect it with this mirror. And things here is going to be very messy. You just have to organize the notes and remember what you are doing. For this one, we want to uh, have, like, we want to fill up this part with the particles. So, um, this turbulence, I want to just move it there, change the color, maybe just going to move this blue. So we can keep on adding more details to this, but I'm going to uh, jump to the next part, which is adding like uh, the reflective parts of the eye. So what we're going to do is create a new emitter. Let's move all this way here and particle and add a model and material to this. So connect everything together and on the emitter, let's zero the speed and change the particle to model. On emitter, just need once there and just Put one there and the model we're going to choose primitive and then choose here sphere and let's give it 10 on size and the particle here we need to put it at 10 seconds so we can see it and as you see, we have the sphere right here. Let's have two views like we did before. And now just uh, select emitter and go to urgency so we can move the sphere and place it where it needs to be. And then we're just going to change its size so it is covering all the particles. Now let's go to this material and change these to transparent and on transparent here we have opacity. So let's put these to be transparent so we can see where to place it. So this is uh, too far away. So we are going to move it a little bit. So after placing the sphere on the position it needs to be, it's look like this, like an eye. So now we are going to try making it um, reflective and transparent. So let's make these stardust quality to high and make this also to high resolution. And actually, we're going to turn off the other particles so we can work faster on Stardust. So just turn off the visibility of these emitter nodes for now. So we're going to go to this material and 
maybe we're going to put the opacity to 40 and from particles to 20 and we are going to create a light so ambient light and add another light so I'm going to create a point light so let's see where the point light is selecting this light and if we go to material here we have diffuse we can uh, change here the diffuse amount and ambient amount so you would see what's happening here so diffuse we see some nice uh, diffuse reflective surface here so we're going to put the opacity to 20 and opacity from particles to 10 and we start seeing some nice reflective surface on the sphere and so we are going to play with the light to get a different looks and as you see changing the intensity of the light change the look of the sphere give it that nice specular light so i have here these uh studio hdr image here we're going to use it so uh this is going to be used on the part uh, the the material and on diffuse we're going to choose these one and it is going to create a very nice looking by zero out this one hundred percent color from particle and you'll see we have very nice uh, transparent looking sphere and as you see here if we put that to one hand and we are just getting uh, this diffuse thing so let's put the earring to 100 and even the diffuse so you can see the difference there is a nice uh, transparent areas here so we have more flexible ways to create the look we want so that's the difference between solid so it's just a solid uh, texture layer and transparent is going to create a very nice looking transparent so let's turn this back to 20 and 10 and play with the diffuse and ambient light for these Also, we have texture opacity if we want to lower the highlights part. So if you we zero out these, we are getting uh, the opacity, this transparent material back. So just going to leave it at 100%. And we can add another light. Let's make this light spotlight. and let's change the view to left and then i'm going to change the cone angle to cover the surface of the sphere and change the color to blue and let's back to the camera view and crank up the intensity so we can see the bluish reflection on the surface and then we came back to the material node and play with the other settings like gloss and reflections to get the look that we want okay i'm just going to leave it like this and on a model i'm going to add more segments so it's not low poly here so maybe we're going to put this to 50 
on X and Y. And as you see, we have a nice smooth sphere. And if we go to Stardust effect, we can change the quality settings to extreme to get even high resolution details. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it at high for now. And now let's turn on the visibility of these emitter nodes. So we get the other particles back on the scene. And now we're going to play with the camera settings. So let's get a nice view here and maybe turn on the depth to field so we get a very nice depth to field, changing the focus distance and all the cool stuff. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see in this preview, things look pretty cool and you can of course add more details to even make it looking great. So this was the tutorial of today. Hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys and stay tuned for more Stardust tutorials coming soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support me and thank you for watching.